like a trap. You know, there's murders out there, there's, uh, you know, drug dealers out there 24-7 because they don't have no job. There's no way to support anybody out here. Camden is a city of pain. You can feel that pain amid the blocks of boarded up and abandoned homes, on the vacant lots where garbage sits amid the weeds, and in the sadness of the people who still cling to life here. It's just crazy out here how, how these kids live. You see crackhead mothers, crackhead fathers, and they're my age. I'm 29 years old. Like, that, that I never saw that before, ever in my life. You know, I graduated from Paulsboro High School, and I came down here because we had we couldn't afford it. I, I had to sell drugs out here to survive. You know, the only reason why I stopped was because my son told me, my, my, my eight-year-old son told me, see, Daddy, I don't like seeing you in the glass window anymore. Please stop doing what you're doing. I don't want to see you no more here. Despite new medical and university facilities, Camden remains one of America's poorest and most violent cities. 36% of the people live in poverty, more than twice the national rate. 70% of Camden's families are headed by a single parent. Almost 40% of adults do not have a high school diploma. Unemployment is 18% about twice the state level in New Jersey. Camden just have more violence, more drug addicts, more alcoholics, and a lot of children that grow up in homes that are not functional or that do not care about these children. So when they're subject to the streets, that's what lead our city to the way that it is. It's not getting no better. When I look out of my window, I see abandoned homes. That's not a nice view. I don't like it. I'm angry about it. There are plans to realign the medical and university facilities, but what of the poor who live here too? For them, the future is still a question mark. Rent here in this city is high. So I'm doing the best that I can. You know, I'm comfortable in the sense that I have a roof over my head, roof over my children's head. I'm able to pay my bills. I'm happy at that, but it's just, you don't want to look out your window and see this. This is a mess. 